You guys are in for a real treat today. Some of you guys wonder, what's it like to go on a helicopter flight test? Well, today you're gonna get the pleasure of going along with Tim and Sancho. Sancho's gonna pretend that he's an examiner. He's uh, doing a practice flight test with Tim, and they're gonna go out and perform all the exercises that you would on a regular flight test. He's getting graded in a similar type way, and then at the end they do a debrief on how the flight actually went, whether or not he would actually pass it, and then from that point you can do a cleanup flight, figure out all the issues that you had, and then go ahead and fix those. So go ahead and enjoy this flight, talk to you afterwards. Nice winds this afternoon. Yeah, I can help you out for sure. <laughs> All right, so today I have the pleasure of flying with Tim. First yep. time flying with Tim. Hi. And uh, first time flying is going to be on a practice flight test with him. <laughs> That's not to make, not to make you nervous. Should be fun with a Bit of a wind today. What were we were saying, 18 to 25, somewhere in there. Yeah, gusting 25. So the the fun part about today is that I'm not going to do much talking. It's going to be mostly Tim doing the talking. He's going to be describing everything he's doing, so that me as the mock examiner right now is going to be able to know what he's thinking. Uniform Tango Echo, identified. Uniform Tango Echo. Uniform Tango Echo. Right on. So we're a little bit high, but we're good for our departure, and it's flying almost sideways, keeping the wind going. <laughs> that should make a couple things like instrument flying and stuff quite interesting. Yeah. Wouldn't want to get bored. Two miles traffic, this is helicopter Fabry G2, uniform Tango Echo, just over the greenhouse, 1,000 feet, north eastbound to, uh, oh. So tell me, Tim. Yep. Uh, why, why do we care about our ETA time there? Uh, our ETA time, we want to make sure that it's good against our grounding time. We have ah. enough time to fly. So what do you think about that? Uh, I think it's good. It's within our grounding time, so it's no problem. It's not quite uh, the 20 minute uh, buffer that we wanted, but I mean, we did just take off and, and get started, so we don't have a lot of data to work off of. So you're saying currently we're eating into our reserve? Uh, currently we would plan to eat into our reserve if we kept going exactly the way we are going. So I guess the question begs the question, does this time mean we were we accounting for our reserve in this time or are we not? Uh, we're not accounting for our reserve in that time, no. So we're so we're good for our fuel how we have it. We're not eating into our reserve, but we're uh, what is it, a little bit behind schedule just because it took a while to take off, but that's not a big deal. Okay. So if we arrived at an ETA of fifteen twenty nine, yep. Based on our grounding time fifteen forty three, does yep. that mean that we will have used some of our reserve, or we will not have used our reserve yet? We won't have used any of our reserve yet. Perfect. All right. Um, so I actually don't want to go to Hope anymore or anywhere else that we plan to go. What can we? Do uh, you have a map here that has a little more detail? I do. I want to have a look and see where I'd like to go. Can I just pick a spot anywhere and take me there? Uh, so long as we have the fuel to make it there, sure. Okay. Yeah, well, make it there and back. All right. Uh, mind if I grab your pencil? Go for it. All right. What if we decided to go... We are. Uh, let's see. That's mission there. So we are just uh, by... Uh, Harrison uh, Mills, so that's actually uh, a little bit over on that that side of the map. Oh, they see the map for two? Yep. We're just north of Chilliwack, so it'll be on the right end of it. Yeah, I'd like to go, I've heard there's some good fishing by this bridge here. Dudney? Yeah. Yeah. Take me there. We can probably make it there. Let's see. All right. So we can 
let's start heading that way now, and I'll just quickly run some numbers. Make sure we're okay for that. Four two seven. And line. We're gonna head down the river over to Dudney. Yep. Heading, yeah, we are heading towards Dudney. Uh, I would then call and uh, let FSS know that we're not going to follow our uh, original plan. Okay. Um, what uh, frequency would you call them on? Uh, that would be one, two, two, five. Uh, I'm not sure, but it would be on. Uh, ETA here, so all right, let's see that for now. Okay, come back to that. I mean, we've got an hour or so before they would worry about us anyway, so. I would let them know soon. Uh, time to go. We had about 10 miles, so I would give that about eight minutes at our current speed, uh, which would give us an ETA of uh, one, two, four, three, uh, five. Or sorry, one, four, three, five. Uh, that is well within our uh, grounding time, so we're good for fuel on that. Yep. And our split time should be actually just coming up off the left uh, right now. That would be one two four two nine. One two four, or sorry, one four thirty. So we are good on our way to Dudney. No problem there. You said you wanted to do some fishing? Well, I had a buddy that said there was some good fishing near that bridge. But, uh, might be, might be better fishing up this, what's this? Yeah. Uh, this right here is um, Norwich Creek. Norwich Creek. Yeah. I think there might be some cool spots up there. We'll check that out in a minute. All right. In a minute or right now? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's technically this bridge first. All right. And then uh, we will decide to go fishing there instead. Sounds good. Okay, wind's a little sporty, but we're doing all right. This is the uh, spot you were talking about? Yeah, it's beautiful. Right on. We'll just stand right here in the shore and fish in this yeah. area. Just uh, find a spot without too many rocks and uh, set her down. I'm gonna pick it up and move it over just a little bit. A little uneven there. That's much better. All right. 
Cool. You know what I just realized though? What? With this wind, you can't you can't even fly fish. No. So I'll come back here another day, but I think for today it's not going to happen. Okay. So thanks for bringing me though. Now I know I can do it. No problem. Uh, maybe another day you can bring me back. Let's wait. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well then, I guess we'll get out of here. Sounds good. Lights are all off, rotor's green, fuel is 62, T's and P's are all green, switches are up, car heat is auto. Clear right and clear left. Yep. And we're looking good at an 82% in the hover. Clear left for the tail. Traffic, this is helicopter Cabri G2, uniform Tango Echo, 1,200 feet over the big sandbar between Chilliwack Mountain and Sumas Mountain, uh, just doing auto rotations on the sandbar. So it's entered from 1,000 feet. Yep. And we'll aim for the middle. You okay. see where the kind of those logs are kind of jammed on the other side of it? Okay. I don't know these sewage, They're kind of right in the middle. You There's mean like the uh, long sandbar? Yeah, the long sandbar. Okay, yeah. Just on the other side of that one is a couple logs. Yep. Gotta pick that as a target. Okay. Okay, entering auto rotation again. Three, two, one. So I started my flare a little early again. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and land. Okay. Let's just come down to the hover first of all. Okay. 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 I can do Abbotsford no problem. Oh, Claiborne yeah. Towers I can't find. I just can't even remember how to do it. It's not on there, that's why. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I should be able to figure it out on the map and point it out on the map and yeah, make a Let me show you. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Scroll over with, the, with your finger here. Yeah. So here's Seamass Mountain. Yeah. That's the towers there. Yeah. So just touch it so there's a little X there. Yeah. I hit the direct to button. Okay. And then deactivate. Okay, that is not how it was explained to me before. That is <laughs> way better. There's two. That's two. There's two ways. First, finding a specific spot like that. This is how you do it. If you're finding a, an airport, you just go nearest airport, or you can enter the identifier of the airport. Yeah. There's there's two different th options of how you like. Somebody may say, Hey, can you take me to this lake? Yeah. And if you know where that is, you can find it, collect it, do it that way. No, the way uh, Sam mentioned it, there was something in a in a menu where there was like a enter new waypoint or something like that. But so. if it's not a spot we've ever been to before or entered as a waypoint, then it wouldn't exist anywhere, right? Right, but you could... You'd have to create that waypoint. Exactly, that's what he was going through. Yeah. Alright guys, what did you think? Did he pass? Was it good? How was it? Everybody gets super nervous during their flight test, but you just gotta take a deep breath, relax, that's what he did. He did a really great job. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We're going to talk to you guys on the next one. See ya.